All right, what's going on? We are back. Last week it was just me. This week Cole is getting out with me and we're back at the farm. There's 250 acres, so plenty of land still to explore. So I'm planning on going to uh, the field that we always avoid because it's so trashy. There's just got to be old stuff there. I've never actually found an old um, coin in there. I've really only ever found a button and a musket ball. Um, and then just trash, 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 trash. Uh, so anyway, we're going to look for, I'm going to search that field. Cole said he was planning on walking around with me some today and going on his own because you can find Cheney and bottles and stuff like that here just kind of all over the place and in the, in the, in the woods and just everywhere. So anything specific you're looking for? Uh, no, not really. Oh, not really. He's still waking up. You have to excuse him. It's Saturday morning early. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can get. See you soon. We dig it. We dig it. We dig it. We dig a lot of stuff in the ground. We dig it. We dig it. We dig it. Okay, why don't you stick around? Lapse. My best find was a dust cover that I'm looking for. I also found a mystery piece of copper. I don't know. I see some green coming through. Um, feels pretty heavy. I don't know what it could be. Looks interesting. Dust cover is really cool. It's kind of small, but give me just a second. Oh man. Feels like I've got, grabbed everything else in here but that. There it is. Yep, there it is. So we'll be able to get some information off of this. Just a lock dust cover. Good find. Um, I'm focusing on signals that are that are deep. I don't want to, you know, dig aluminum trash all day long. So trying to get signals that are maxed out on the scale. Cole's been over talking to the animals. Um, they seem to all be doing good, right? Yeah. <laughs> The dog whisperer. All right, so let's see what else we can find. Here we go. Cole said, hey, let's do a live dig. So curse of the live dig. This is a pretty good signal, I would say. It's not a great signal, but I've been searching for a while. Nothing but trash today. Lead, aluminum, lots of scrap. So this is a 25, 26. Sounds pretty consistent. Could be just a modern day Lincoln penny. Could be a wheat penny. Could be some of the 1905 silver coins that we have found on island. Could be a big chunk of lead. Could be a big chunk of aluminum. You know, just about anything. There it is. Beer can. Deep beer can. Sounded really good. Sounded kind of small. All right. To the next. Half time. Not too much to show for the first hour and a half of digging. I did find this. This is a pretty interesting find. Goes for the gate, of course. And then a bunch of lead and aluminum. I mean, a lot of targets. I'm going to head back out to where I was last week where I found uh, three old copper coins and a ring. See if I can find anything there. There's several other areas that we either haven't hit very much or... Um, you know, they're so trashy that we give up on them <laughs> uh, when we get tired. So anyway, got about two hours left. See you soon. Over here in the middle of this set of ruins, just several homes right here, like a little village that may have been on the property. First signal, deep brass nail. Good sign. 
my next find, same spot, just next to where that brass nail was, this tiny little hinge. It's an old brass hinge for something small. Maybe a book, maybe, I don't know, very small brass hinge. My next signal is a little tiny buckle with some fancy on it. idea of age, see if we can find something on it, but a little buckle. I am at no level bottle expert, or do I claim to be? This is a pretty cool bottle though. It says Liquor Bottle France. That's pretty cool. Don't know about the age of it, but pretty cool find. Okay guys, so dad's detecti detecting right there. I don't know if you guys can see this very well. There's a spider web. Oh, it connects to that branch up there. Connects down here. It's crazy. Can't believe it's not breaking from the wind. Oh, they take that call. On video. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Cheney. Yeah, nice piece. All right, to the next. No color for this piece of chainy, Dad. What do you think? I think color. Color? I'm gonna say none. Ooh, no color. No color. I gotta do it right here. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna say color. I'll say color also. Yeah! Nice piece. One more. Right there. I'm gonna say no color. Oh. No color. All right. On to the next. I'm over here in another field that I don't really go to very much. The front up by the road is just all modern trash cans. I'm sure there's stuff below it, but man, it gets old digging that stuff. Came in here to the back of the field. There's a lot less modern things and pretty deep out of 24. And check this dandy find out. Now that is a big old dandy button. That is so cool. Very unique shank. Kind of reminds me of a unique rabbit. You guys know how you catch a unique rabbit? Unique up on it. Oh man, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me try to redeem myself. Do you know how you catch a tame rabbit? The tame way. Okay, I'll, I'll spare you any more of my dad jokes for this week. Dandy button. My next signal was a 13. And I love finding these old furniture tacks. I mean, the tack part of it is square. So cool. Back at it I am. Familiar place. I have a find. The find itself is not very exciting. That it is here is exciting. Little brass knob, you know, for little tiny box or drawer or something. But it's in an area that I've been over dozens of times. And there's still more to be found. Let's see what we can find in a spot that's hunted out.
it has just recently rained and so everything is extremely muddy but i'm in an area where i've been over dozens of times and there are good strong signals here this one is a pistol ball see right there sweet great find about three inches down 12 13 incredible to the next right beside my three ponies i just flipped it up and i think i see it sitting there it's an 1819 which is a great signal for an old coin or a button i think i might have a button maybe Hard to tell what this is. Definitely not a coin. I don't think it's a button either. Almost looks like a washer that has something stuck in it. That might be a button with the shank on the back. I don't know. I have to take a look at it and we'll get it cleaned up. To the next. I don't know what it's like where you hunt, but just look at that rainbow. It's in the afternoon about four o'clock. Rain coming from Mid-Island works its way over west. It'll be pouring here soon, but man, that's beautiful. Just had to show you guys. My next find is a very cool old relic. From way down here, four or five inches. Suspender clip. That's pretty cool. Get it cleaned up. A lot of times this will have some ID on it, so... I'll let you know if we can find anything on it. Looks like this one might. Just don't know yet. Suspender clip. This next find was an everyday tool um, on a plantation. This is the end of a sugarcane knife. This is where it would have had a wood handle, would have gone out further this way. We found one a few months ago. I'll pop up a picture of what it looks like. But that's a pretty cool find. Something that would have been used every single day. Iron, but still glad I dug it. To the next. All right, on the side of the hill, crawling around in these bushes, just pulled an old coin. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a Old copper, Danish West Indies one cent. Cannot see anything identifying on it yet. But I'm pretty sure that's when it's going to be just based on what it rang up. In the hole, it rang up a 13, 14, which is pretty low, but then once I got it out, it was an 18. So I think it's going to be a one cent, but we'll just have to see. Do the next. Second rainbow today. That is awesome. Lots of rain. I have a few signals over here. We'll keep going for a little bit. Right here beside the horse pen. Another coin. Crusty. Looks abnormal, but it's just because the amount of crust, I believe. I think it's just going to be a Lincoln Memorial. Might be something different. You never know. Nope, I think I see the Memorial right there. Wow, amazing how crusty it was. I knew it was a really good signal. Yeah, I think that's the memorial right there. Yep. Really good signal, but alas, tis but a memorial. To the next. My next find is the wheel off of a oil burning lamp. Might have some information on there, patent date. We'll get it cleaned up and let you know. I had to uh, try to get the rainbow. Ah, there we go. I tried to get the rainbow back in for us. I uh, just had a weird find. It's a penny signal, 2122, like a regular Lincoln, but it's bigger. It's definitely copper. It's nickel sized maybe, but higher signal. So could be one of these old island coins. I don't think it's going to be a penny, maybe a half cent, maybe a British coin. I don't know. Cool find. Another awesome find in an area I've been many times. If it rains, like the day it rains, go back to your permissions and check on them. I'm telling you. Musket ball. So cool. Wormed. So it was a misfire. I dug it out and refired. Cool find. Right here. Musket ball number two. Just about to wrap it up. Got about 10 minutes left. We'll see if we can find anything else. Another fun hunt, uh, a lot of good things found, a lot of trash pulled out of the ground. Let's take a look at what we found. Okay, here is the farm side of things. 
uh, giant gear didn't record this. It wasn't super deep, but man, it's a big old gear for something. Lots of Cheney, um, you know, this pottery that we find. There's a brass nail, of some kind, pipe stem, pretty cool. Mountain of trash, tons and tons of signals, some pull tabs or ring pulls. Uh, this little hinge, it's pretty cool. This buckle, it's pretty neat. It's got some fancy on there. Still not quite sure about that thing. And then the find from the farm hunt is this dandy button. Shank is intact. That is a really cool find. Good hunt. Very next day, went back to the Dreams of Gold property. Here's part of that, what I think is going to be part of a sugarcane knife. Um, I know it's an old tool, of course. Um, some ammunition, another... Um, I don't think this is a nail, but something interesting. Pile of trash, um, some pottery, Cheney that we have, one copper Lincoln penny, a pistol ball, two musket balls. Here's the suspender clip. That's really cool. Haven't got it cleaned up yet. Gonna do that right now. Uh, this turned out definitely to be a button. Uh, that is the shank, and you can actually see some gold gilt coming through right there. I think it may have been a two piece and the second piece is gone. Maybe, I don't know exactly. This could just be a one piece. That kind of looks like it has something on the surface there. Not sure exactly. Cool find though, cool button. This little tiny guy right here. It just uh, says like USA. It doesn't, have, it doesn't give me a date. It just says a company name, USA. Um, not the knob that I was first excited about because it was even there. This is the 1868 version of the Danish West Indies penny. Nope, I'm sorry, 1905. You see the mirrored seas? It would flip this way with the crossed instruments. It's a 1905 Danish West Indies one cent. And then the find of the hunt. Didn't know this is, this was what it is. But it is a silver. I pulled it out and said, oh yeah, it's copper for sure. I was wrong. You can see the bust facing to the right. And then on the back, it is a silver 10 cent piece from the 1800s. Pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed the hunt. Thanks for showing up each week, guys. Next week, you're not gonna wanna miss it. All right, it's in the day. Uh, sun's going down. I'm getting eaten alive by the mosquitoes. Um, been a great day. I think there was one other one I can't remember. Uh, and just now from eight inches deep, a 12, 13, I think I have possibly 1700 silver. Let's check it out.